Yeah, we're going we're gonna to continue the foolishness. We're going to continue to read through this foolishness. You know what I mean? Here we are. You know, fuck your vaccine. Anyway, another COVID-19 vaccine success. Candidate may f- prevent further coronavirus transmission too. Really? Oh, let's see. Science COVID. Science's COVID-19 reporting is supported by the Pulitzer Center and the Heisman Simmons Foundation. Let's get right into it, man. Let's get... I don't, I'm not highlighting nothing. I'm just perusing real quick. Just bear with me. A third vaccine candidate has convincing evidence that it works and it may be easier to distribute and cheaper than the two vaccines already shown to protect people developed by Samson and time. Developed by the company AstraZeneca in partnership with the University of Oxford. The vaccine had an average efficacy of 70% of preventing the disease. The developers announced today in the press release. In one dosing scheme, its efficacy was 90% according to results from the interim analysis of clinical trial data. AstraZeneca says about 3 billion doses of the vaccine could be ready by 2021. Oh, really? Whereas, come on, man, what we doing here, man? This, this, man, fuck. Anyway, um, whereas, uh, yeah, I'm candid to the, I don't care. You know, we all adults. You don't like the, 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 you know, the cursing, whatever, the pejorative language, who cares? Whereas uh, apparently, apparently powerful COVID-19 vaccines recently announced by Moderna and Pfizer Biotech Collaboration rely on a snippet of messenger RNA coding for the spike surface protein of SARS-CoV-2. The AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine stimulates the immunity by using a crippled chimpanzee adenovirus as a vector to deliver the gene for spike. My goodness, man, that, that chimpanzee. Uh, man, I like animals more than I like people, man. Uh, this shit makes me feel bad. I mean, f- f- we ain't shit. The AstraZeneca Oxford collaboration is following more than 23,000 people vaccinated in the United Kingdom and Brazil. It reported a total of 131 COVID-19 cases in two groups. Uh, 8,895 people given two full doses one month apart and 2,741 people, 2,741 people uh, who received a half dose first, followed by the full dose. The first scheme had only 62% efficacy, a clinical trial measurement that may not translate exactly to the real world. Right? I wonder why. Uh, but in the second one, efficacy jumped to 90%. The collaboration did not report the breakdown of cases between the people in the vaccine arm of the trial and the control group, nor did it provide any data of COVID-19 protection among the elderly or various ethnicities. Really, how convenient. Peter Plott, the head of London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, says he was very pleased to see the results, especially given the encouraging news that the half-dose scheme worked best, meaning more people could receive the vaccine while it remains in short supply for the next several months. But he noted that none of the COVID-19 efficacy results reported to date has offered much data. In quote, it is frustrating that all these announcements are by press release and we can't review actual data, Plot says. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so you, you, you think I'm going to be trusting y'all? You see, this is the thing. This is, this, is, this is what we're talking about. Without knowing how the 131 cases divide up between different vaccine regimens and people in the control group who either received a Menin, meningococcal, jococcal, meningococcal vaccine or placebo, researchers cannot calculate what is known as a confidence interval around the reported efficacy. We desperately need total transparency about trials and data. Plot. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. See, folks, y'all got to wake up. Y'all, y'all got to wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. They want, I already started seeing the ads. Flu shot, get your flu shot. 
And now, more than ever, why you should get your flu shot is because of COVID. It's already these ads have been running. The the commissioner or the, the doctor for the health department here in New York City has already been making these ads. It's already been running. It's already been issued. This is how they program the masses, man. This is how they do it. Don't get me wrong. People are dying. People are dying. And it's bad. It's freaking disgusting. I fucking hate these people, yo. And not the people that are dying. It's these politicians, good for nothing ass government leaders. The 2020 has shown you, if not, has shown, like now more than ever, how inefficient government is. How inefficient government and divisive government is. One government completely divisive. Completely. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Can't get it together either. Cannot get it together. Piss me off. Piss me off. All this fuckery. I, I tell you, I made that. I, I tell you, it's true. All this talk about Thanksgiving. All this talk about following the the the, the restrictions, staying home. How hard it is, even for him, with his own personal account of his family. How you know it, it was so hard. It's hard to plan to 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 not be around family. But for the sake of saving lives, this is what it's going to take, right? But what about Black Friday? One of the busiest shopping days of the year. It mums the word. Mums the word. You see the games these motherfuckers play? You see the games? I'm not right or left. I don't give a fuck about all that. I don't care about none of that shit. Because none of them are, 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 are care about us. I don't care what, what people say. I don't care what people say. Because people, this has been historical. This has been tradition for many people over here in the United States. For Black Friday to be a thing. Right? People gear up. People is, is save their money. People, it's like a race. People mob up before the stores open. Folks have died because they've been trampled over. Once the, those gates of those stores open, people have died from being trampled over in those stores about Black Friday. We heard nothing. I've heard nothing today. And I've been glued, you know, kept myself abreast to the shenanigans and the, the, the political shenanigans and bullshit. That we've been hearing all year, there's been not one word about following restrictions on Black Friday as well. Because that's the money. It all goes back down to the money. And make no mistake about it. Why do you think some shit that sometimes takes up to 10 years by way of a vaccine to be created, to be issued? Why do you think all of a sudden we hearing the vaccine goddamn is fucking here? It was here yesterday. All of a sudden we have vaccine talk. Why do you, it's about money. The first person, the first person or company that succeeds in getting this vaccine, they're set. They're going to be paid. Well off. Instant billion dollar situation. Instant, maybe even trillion because you're talking about global here. You're talking about. Uh, uh, people having distribution 3 billion vaccines for 2021 so fast really why what happened operation warp gaka that's what we talking it's not about your well-being it's not about your well-being after all these past histories and, and tests have taken place, you know, he got tired of hearing about how blacks keep bringing up the Tuskegee experiment. This is a modern day type of situation. Tuskegee. Oh, I've, you don't know. This is Cuomo. You don't know how oft, how much I've been hearing about the Tuskegee experiment. Of course, you're going to hear it about it, dickhead. Because you talk about how blacks and Hispanics, black and brown, black and brown. I haven't heard so much black and brown in my life, yo. Like a Crayola box. 
I haven't heard so much black and brown come out of that man's mouth more than this year. Black and brown, the black and brown population have been, you know, it, 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 subjected to inequality and have died 2.5 times more likely than whites. And brown, 1.5 times more likely than whites. Black and brown need to be vaccinated. They need to be prioritized. They need to be prioritized. Really. Really. I'll put on my fucking platinum. It's not even a platinum foil hat. Foil. <laughs> you trying to depopulate motherfuckers? This is what we doing? Without saying it, dickhead? It's not even about elderly. It's not even about none of that. It's not even about the most vulnerable population. It's about black and brown. All of a sudden, black and brown. Why? Because of the, the injustices, discrimination. Tying all these narratives to this health crisis. Tying all these narratives. When you want to put impose restrictions on people socializing during, during moments where it's about family, where it's about being together. There's so many people that are alone out here. That are alone who don't have family, who wish... They could be with their families. And this motherfucker is trying to make, make it make it seem like you, you, you in the wrong if you have X amount of people in your house during the holidays that you don't know, that you know your family. You're going to be bad for trusting and, and, and just wanting to be in the space of your loved ones. Just wanting to be in the space of your fucking loved ones, man. So, you're, you know, God forbid your family member is dying on their deathbed and you can't see them. You have to look at them behind a glass. You can't even be with them. You can't even be with them. So they have to go transition on their own. That's the new normal. That's the new fucking normal. But Black Friday, it's all different. It's all, no, no, no. I want a new phone. Let me go fucking go buy the phone. No problem. You got X amount of people next to you. It doesn't fucking, the rules don't apply. No, 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 no. The, the rules don't apply. Why? Because it's revenue. It's about money. It all goes back to money. It all goes back to money. When are people going to fucking wake up? And we're not talking about how they're just trying to introduce, the central banks are trying to introduce digital currency. We're not even going there. It's a whole nother topic that goes way above people's heads. Except those who know. Sad. It's real though. It's sad. It's fucked up. It's a reality. It's what's going on right now. Shit ain't sweet. Not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. They're giving you, they're giving you all this information, giving you all this information, all this propaganda. That's how they hit you. They say we get bombarded every day with 3,000 different types of marketing schemes, employees and attempts and ads and commercials and marketing and, and blogs and posts and blah, 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 memes, 3,000 a day. Now it's been COVID. Now it's going to be part of your, your thinking. Oh, when the vaccine comes, by the time them shits start coming out, people are going to line up like drones, like fucking slaves. Yeah, give me a vaccine, give me a vaccine, give me a vaccine. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't trust these motherfuckers, man. I don't give a fuck what they say. It's all fuckery. 